In the once wealthy state of Michigan, Blessings in a Backpack provides food for the weekend to at-risk students. While it seems unlikely that children in many counties would go to bed hungry on weekends, in reality, between 5 and 75 percent of the students in school districts are at risk. Actress and singer Hilary Duff is in Metro Detroit today promoting a cause that's near and dear to her heart. Action News reporter Alicia Smith has details from Auburn Elementary in Auburn Hills. What about this program really spoke to you? I think I was shocked with the amount of kids that are going hungry on the weekends, you know, or that are, are worrying and thinking about when their next meal is going to come. Um, this is America, you know, and the national average of kids that are on the free and reduced meal program in public schools is like 61%. That's the average. That's more than half, you know, that's not okay. We have, uh, we have some pockets of great wealth and we also have pockets of great need. Um, we're a very representative community of what society is going through now as, as the job market shifts and as the economy um, slows in its growth mode, um, our families are being impacted by that on a daily basis. Um, we're always concerned with our at-risk popu population about access to learning and uh, having the proper toolkit uh, to be able to be successful learners. Michigan has experienced hard economic times and Redford is no exception. We know in South Redford that educating the whole child is important and that education extends past the school day. Blessings in a Backpack will be just a wonderful opportunity for our families and create just that next wonderful opportunity for our kids to be successful. While there are so many strengths to having a program like Blessings in a Backpack, um, I think the fact that we are a small city, 2.2 square miles, there's a connectedness. Um, each one can reach one because of proximity. Uh, we find that we have students whose parents attended here, whose grandparents attended school here, whose great-grandparents attended school here. So there's really a connectedness. They talk about the city, the little city with the big heart. What we know about children and their development tells us that in the early years, um, this is when the brain is developing and how valuable nutritious food is. And to know that they'll be able to have access to this, they, they have it on the weekends, means a lot to us as we provide education for students. Blessings in a Backpack partners with Meyer Stores to develop and supply non-perishable food for six meals for only $2.25 per backpack. Volunteers transport the food to a local school for packing and distribution. My school is about 70% free and reduced lunch. Test score data shows that good food, good nutrition helps a student learn. It's hard to uh, it's hard to study, it's hard to pay attention when you're uh, not listening to your brain, you're listening to your stomach. Well, I wanted to start the Blessings in the Backpack at South Redford Schools because as an Avondale resident, I had heard about the impressive results that they had had in their first year. Test scores had increased 45%, attendance had increased 45%, and behavior incidences were down 35%. I simply knew when I heard those results, we needed this program in South Redford. The Blessings in a Backpack Project has the unique ability to touch many hearts. I noticed down at my kid's bus stop, just right down at the end of our street, that there were more dads that were coming to the bus stop with their kids. And I thought, was it just a coincidence that they um, were going into work later that day? Did they take the day off? Were they working out of home? But then I found out that um, three of them were out of a job. So that was my first real point that really you know, went to my heart in the sense that this is happening right here in my own neighborhood. This is a wonderful program. Not only are we feeding children, we're also, as volunteers, getting so much more out of it. Every time that we leave a packing, we're standing a little taller, our head is a little higher, and we're proud of what we're doing for the children. This is probably the best give back that I've ever done. My wife taught in the school district for 39 years, and uh, so it's just like we're giving something back to the community. We feel it in our hearts that they're being well taken care of. 
Um, I volunteer because it's an easy way for me to reach out to the community around me. Um, the backpacks go directly to kids in my school district, so it's easy to take these steps towards positive change. It's changed my life knowing that there are people my age and younger than me that have been affected by the job losses in the economy, and I'm just happy to help them out through helping with blessings in the backpack. They're happy with smiles on their faces because they have a good weekend for the food that we provide them. Every Greek church has a ladies organization called Philoptochos. Philos is friend, Ptochos is of the needy or the poor. We're supposed to help our fellow man and especially children who don't have enough food to eat for the weekends. And uh, th this is, I think, just a wonderful organization. Anything you can do to help your, your fellow man is a good thing. The Philoptos has decided to be the nonna, the godmother for every one of the districts in Michigan. So besides a monetary donation, we are also sending people to help with the packing. The volunteers complete the packing and place the backpacks into bins to be delivered to school districts for student distribution Friday afternoon. These kids are in elementary school and, and how are we expecting them to learn without fuel in their tanks, you know? Um, so many kids come to us Friday afternoon to get their backpacks and they're so excited. They can't wait. You know, they, you know, they want to rip open the backpacks and find out, you know, what did we get this week? I was supervising the students as they were getting on their buses on Friday afternoon, which is when they get their, their backpacks. And he had his blessing and backpack on one shoulder and his regular backpack on the other. And he had his juice box in his hand. He held it up and he says, you know, Mrs. Wilson, I just love it when we get juice on the weekends. And I just smiled at him. I said, I'm glad that you liked it. And we put it back in his backpack and zipped it up. And he said, this backpack is just filled with love. We had a parent that approached me the first week after we started this program. And she came up to me and she said, I, I just wanted to thank you for, for the backpack of, of food. She said, um, you know, the other night that her daughter and her were praying. And her daughter prayed that she would have a backpack of food. Um, and this, it was an answer to their prayers. We have families who are making choices right now. They're choosing to heat their homes. They're choosing to put gas in their car. They're choosing whether they can take their children in to have them seen because of a cold or an ear infection. And they're choosing what they can eat. And this will mean that families will have food on the weekend. That these children, it won't be a choice of their not eating. And that is so very important people don't know what's going on a neighborhood away from where they live, you know, and these are our American children. Now it's your turn to help our children support blessings in a backpack, feeding the future of America.